Well, I'm back in the Jamison Valley again this week. It's uh, part two of looking for a suitable area to camp in October when we come back and do a couple of nights research. So you can see uh, the three sisters there. Pretty sure that's them. There we go. There's the three sisters. The sun's just coming up. And uh, and zoom out for you guys so you can see all the valley. Yeah, so I'm going to go further in today than what we did last time. And I'm <clears throat> pretty much, as you can see right down here, there's a creek called Chinaman's Gully. I'm going to try and make it into there and see what I can find. And also suitable places to camp within the valley. That's safe. Now, I don't know how many times I've gone out in the bush and idiots bring in, you know, music bar wrappers or Mars bar wrappers or something or cans of bloody energy drinks and they just drop them on the ground. You obviously got a bag to carry it in. Carry it back out in that bloody bag. Don't leave it in the bush. So we finally made it into the valley here, so we're trekking down further in than last time. And I've got two trail cameras with me, I'm going to set them up and I'll have to take GPS locations um, to find them again and take plenty of photos and try and remember where I left them. So there's huge rocks here, oh, massive ones anyway, this one's probably a good, oh, I'd say six to seven metres high. And it's probably a piece that broke off Maranac years and years ago. And um, it's down here. And it's this resting place now. We're still slowly making our way down. It's not that hard, it's just a lot of uh, slippery areas where you could hurt yourself. So we're just taking it nice and slow, there's no rush. There's just a lot of huge big rocks that have come down from the rock ledge over time. And there's plenty of stuff here. Trying to find any kind of game trails to walk down on. So we're probably a good kilometer away from the actual Federal Pass now. Some places are easy to walk down, other places are a little bit tricky. And it seems to, you know, you get your little hillside, you come down, then it flattens out and then it goes down again and gradually keeps going down until you get to the bottom of the... Uh, okay, I've set the first of the trial cameras up. Here it is here and you can see this is the area that it's looking in. So anything that's about three foot tall and higher will be seen quite easily. I haven't seen anything that'll give me a sign of any yowies in the area. Um, there's no tree breaks or anything like that at the moment, but this is the third ridge that one going down. Um, I think after this it might be the creek. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I'm having such a great time doing this because no one goes in here. There's no trails in here. Any kind of little trail you see are game trails. And as I said before, when I find them, I will follow them. I mean, I think that makes it easier for me to get in here and then get back out, which is going to be a bit of a, a pain getting out. But, uh, some areas are really easy, they open up like this, and other areas they are 
Oh, this is really bad, and these guys poach virtually flat on your house to get out. Yeah, we'll go down and check this area out. If I think I can't make it within a certain amount of time, I won't go all the way in. Um, but I'm uh, hoping to get down here pretty quick. It's getting steeper and steeper. I think it's going to take me ages to get into that creek. Keep going down here. Another 30 meters. Look, I'm going to go down here and get to the flat area. And if I don't find the creek, then I'm coming back out. But I have to find another way because this area is a bit too steep here. And if you have us, I have got a PLB with me in case I get hurt. I'm going to flick that, and someone will find me eventually. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to stop filming so I can get down here. The easiest way to get somewhere is just slide on your ass like a big slippy dip. That's the one doing now. Slide on my ass to get down here. Plus there's no rocks. Then you can't trip over. Can't throw an ankle because you just get a sore butt. A lot of fresh growth down here. It's not too tough going down, but it's going to be tough going back up these ridges and walking up the golden staircase and then back to the car. Not pretty far in. I probably, I reckon I've gone two k's at least. About that. The vine here that's got me caught up. Get underneath it. Alright. where it rains the water comes through so not much grows here because the water just washes it all away when it comes down it's funny you get reception down here sometimes you get messages that pop in <laughs> Near the bottom of this little ridge. Trying to find the easiest way down. And there it is. There's a break here. First one I've seen. Another to come in deep into the valley. Ah, here we go. I think I'm going to set up a trail cam here because look at this. There's a break here and then there's a small one further up. There's one there. He's only about probably two, two, two and a half foot off the ground. And this break is probably a good six foot, six foot two off the ground from the bottom where it's uh, the roots are in the ground for that tree. I'm looking around for some more. That's the first sign. So. This is going to be a trail camera spot. It's going to go up to there and see what it looks like. But I might stick a trail camera here and then go back up the ridge because it's going to go right up there probably by about a good 100, 150 to get to where I left my uh, backpack. Anyway, it's good to see some signs here. And it's funny, like, you know, these things usually break, but they... If they're breaking, they're breaking down the ridge. 
Is it funny that these are breaking and they're going up? You know, usually gravity uh, would uh, break them that way. Like, why are they breaking going up the ridge? And it happens on the other side too. It's really weird. All right, set the second trial camera up. It's pretty high up, mainly so nothing will, you know, any little bushes moving around won't set it off. So this is what it's looking at. And hopefully it picks up something. It'll be up here and the other trial cam until uh, mid-October. So we're only the uh, 9th of September. So it's going to be about five weeks out here. Sometimes you come across these big boulders and Look at that. What time is it? This would be the fifth ridge that I'm going to go down. It's 9.47. Well, I'm going to go down to the bottom of this one. That's good, I found some tree breaks. Like, there's only two that are there. There could be more down that way. I might find, come, like, go back up that way and see if I can see any while I'm going back up. Ah, uh, here we are. You're going to have to go really deep down this steep ridge now to get to the water. Like, I, I could probably follow this where the water's gone down. That'd be the quickest way, but it looks pretty steep. And, like, you know, if I kept on bush bashing for about another hour, I'd end up at Cynic World. We can see... Um, I think you can see the uh, the cables. See the cables there? Hopefully you can see them. And uh, the scenic world. So I've made it pretty far in. I reckon I've done three Ks now. I'm gonna go a bit to the side over here and get on these rocks and stand up there and see what I can see. Um, you know, like I've gone pretty far in. I'm further than what I thought it would be. But that's the big creek there. If I'm gonna come in here again, I wouldn't mind coming in here with someone else and going down that ridge and checking down there out. Because that's Chinaman's Gully in there, for sure. It's too steep. This has been where it meanders. And when you look at the main gully coming in from Naranek direction, you see how it kind of meanders down, ridge, it goes, you know, slopes down and then then all of a sudden it drops. So this is that part where it drops. Very dry here, so nothing would be living in this area. It would just be where it's going from A to B. And, uh, yeah, if I had to go down there, it would be uh, pretty hectic. That's maybe something for uh, another, uh, another day. So this is a where my venturing here into this valley at the moment is going to stop. Uh, I'll just go along here. Yeah, a bit more of an open area to look down. Uh, when you walk, your body gets hot and my nose just wants to run all the time. So, that's why I'm sniffling a bit, but yeah, it gets pretty sturdy. Like, I'd go down there, no worries, but just with a day pack on. And look, the creek is right there, so that's Chinaman's Gully. And just a bit more to the right, Chinaman's Gully. So that's where the SAS guys were. And uh, yeah, it's pretty remote in here. I'm not seeing any more tree breaks, but yeah, I'm gonna put my trail cams there and I'll come and pick them up when we spend two days in here. You see how it's really rocky and dry. But down the bottom there, I bet you that it'd be green as with that water. So it'll probably take me a good I reckon another hour to hour and a half to get down there at least. And it's about quarter to 10. And um, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So that's my uh, my hike into the valley over. It's been really good, this hike. It's not hard to get down here, but the hard part is gonna be to get back up. Anyway, um, before I go, just wanna say something to everyone. Uh, I. Uh, I've had a few messages from people saying, come to my area, visit my area, you'll see the Yowies, are, you know, there you can film them. Look, I don't have any time to go to people's areas. If you want to make, if you want to go and see if the Yowies are there for real, just buy a bit of gear, get a sound recorder, maybe set up a trail camera, do something and try and find it, you know, yourself. Because, you know, I work all week and I've only got the weekends to come out. 
so I'm not going to be able to come to anyone's area. And most places, you guys live in a different state or you're five-hour drive from me, so, look, that won't happen, so you might as well not worry about keep asking because it won't happen. <laughs> so uh, I'm busy enough here in the Blue Mountains. And I'm never going to have my channel where, you know, I'm going to have ads and crap on it. I'm out here to do this for fun. I'm not out here to make money. So it's up to you guys if you want to subscribe and ring the bells and all that other bloody bullshit crap. You know, I, when I watch YouTube, I go and have an ad blocker, so I don't get any ads. So um, my channel, you know, every channel has ads at the start, which YouTube put on. You've got nothing to do with that. You can't stop it. And then once the video starts, I hope all you guys enjoy watching my videos when there's no ads to break it up. Anyway. I'm going to uh, make my way out now and I've got to go up to this uh, through the bush and find my bag and that and um, anyway thanks for watching and all the comments and Dave Reed and myself will keep on doing our everything yowie you can see how professional it is because I never know when it's starting because I've got to use programs I'm not really familiar with um, so that's why I'm always like is it started yet are we live <laughs> so anyway uh, if you guys have got any uh, issues you want us to talk about, just, just put a message under the, uh, the latest uh, Everything Yowie uh, video, which was uh, Everything Yowie 3, and um, we'll try and you know get as much information and talk about these things. Um, if anyone's doing anything stupid or being you know, posted stupid bloody blurry pictures constantly, I'm gonna, you know, I'll be naming them. I don't care. Um, people are acting like Hitler, running their you know, being an admin and not letting everyone have a say. Like, I thought Australia was free. It's a free country to have your say. You know, as long as you say it in a sensible manner, constructive manner, not be a total bloody F-wit, um, you should be able to say that. If it's, if your uh, way of, um, your way of thinking is not going along the lines of what they think because they think it's a yow and you're saying, hey, it's pareidolia, well, then it's pareidolia. Like, in your mind, they might think it's a yow. Well, that's all good and well to everyone have their own mind and get to say what they say in a free country we're not living in a communist country where you can't say anything like North Korea and if you go against the uh, the, the parliament or the well not really the parliament it's the bloody uh, what do you call them the, the tyrannical bloody leader in Kim Jong so um, and that's it you disappear but anyway um, the only thing I've got left to say is even though I'm wearing boots and I've got full-on snake gaiters because it is a little bit warmish, you know, it's getting spring. The only thing I've got to say is, always hiking thongs.